Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $102,592.12. In the past year I am up $28,078.05. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $10,487.37. Today was a red day for me. I was down $883.17 during the day. After hours, I am up $97.99. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $219. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $100. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, $92. I'm selling SoFi $8.5 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, zero. I have a target diagonal spread. I bought the target $100 call expiring December 19th, 2025, and I'm selling the target $140 call expiring August 30th of this year. My total return, $225. I have an Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $12. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $4. I have Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $90. I have McDonald's $210, $200 Put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $320. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,550. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $853. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $200. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,701. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $172.94. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $22,205.76. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.78. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $12,940.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.97. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,388. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $164.67. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,219. This is a margin account. My margin total is $86,419.30. My margin used is $61,719.94. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $2,699.36 
in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $27,450.36. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $11.05. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of interest free margin. So finally, I have today to actually make a video and not have to you know, wait until late at night to do it because I finished most of what I had to do um, earlier in the day. So I dropped off a lot of my packages that I needed to send out. So now those are done. So I actually had time today to do a portfolio update where I'm not, um, you know, making it late at night. And uh, I was able to actually, you know, um, get this update out before uh, midnight. Lately, there have been some times where I had to do it at like 2 a.m. or you know, some weird hour of the uh, of the night, but uh, I'm glad I was able to make it at a reasonable time tonight. Anyways, there's really not much to report. The only thing I need to watch out for is my target diagonal spread. Technically, this expires this Friday, so I'll see what happens this Friday and I'll have to close it out. I'm not going to keep this. This is going to be gone from my portfolio regardless. Either Robinhood is going to like automatically sell it for me or I'm going to sell it myself. But um, yeah, this this will be gone from my portfolio by the end of the week. Same thing with my covered calls right now, all of the share prices are below the strike prices. So Amazon's below 185, Disney's what below 95, Google's below 170, and SoFi is below eight and a half dollars. So I think I'm just gonna collect the premium from all of these and then decide what to do next. Um, not much else to talk about here. McDonald's, man, it is still holding up. Up 0.39% today at 289 man so unexpected but i guess it's really good for people who just were bullish on mcdonald's in general but i actually do not want it to go up by that much as uh, i wanted to stay below 300 dollars. that way i can make max profit off of my um call credit spreads right now i'm losing about 2500 dollars as my total return from this spread. Um, but we'll see. If it stays below 300, I should be good, but it is dangerously close. Um, other than that, nothing really else to talk about. I do have my Disney diagonal spread as well, but that's different. That's something I want to maybe hang on to for a long time until 2025 and then just keep on selling more calls. Um, you know, using my $70 calls as collateral. We'll see. That's my plan for now, though. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, really not much to report. Um, I just wanted to get this update out, show you guys what's going on with my portfolio. But honestly, not much is really happening. I know for a while it was going up and down. It was really rocky, but... Um, it looks like I've recovered. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to actually make money this year. Um, and I don't end up losing a ton of money out of nowhere. Like what happened with this drop right here, but, uh, we'll see. I'll keep on making more updates. So you guys know what's going on, but for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.